wanted to make a part two on my Resident Evil 7 looks awful, Resident Evil 7 rants. Part two. I haven't talked about Resident Evil 7 since the E3 reveal, which was last year, around June, June or July, I think. So it's been a long time since I talked about Resident Evil 7. And plus, this one should be better because the quality's better, and I'm not recording with my piece of shit phone that I did back then with the RE7 rant. And I got more to say, so this will be better than the first one. But I do appreciate the views and comments that one got. That one, that was one. That's a good, successful video of mine. And I appreciate that. So we're gonna do a part two. I just want to touch on a more on why I'm not looking forward to this game and basically explain. I'm not looking forward to Resident Evil Seven. I just think this game is a bad direction and it's not what Resident Evil should be. My my big my biggest two problems with this game is it's first person and there's nothing about Resident Evil in there. First person. Look, I've tried. See, here's the thing. I have more say in this. All right. Now, I'm going to get to those people who tell me or tell others they have to play something before they can judge it. But, here's the thing. I've tried first person in Resident Evil, so I have more to say about this than somebody who hasn't played it. Even though they'd be able to have their own opinion. I, you know, I'm going to agree with Brett Hicks because he actually made a video where he said that, you know... If you're allowed to look forward to a, if you're allowed to look forward to a game that you haven't played and you think it looks good, then I am allowed to hate a game that I haven't played. So I agree with that. It's a good video. But what I'm trying to say here is I've tried Resident Evil first person on the Wii. You know, even before I played it I didn't think it was that good. I tried it out, I still didn't like it. I don't like Resident Evil in first person. On the Wii, it just didn't look good. You know, I just didn't like it. I mean the Leona Krauser campaign was cool, but I didn't enjoy it. Maybe it's because I sucked. Maybe it's because the controllers the controller sucked, or maybe it was because of the aiming. Something, I just didn't like it. I, I just don't think Resident Evil is good in first person. I don't hate first person. I enjoyed Bioshock Infinite. I enjoyed the Left 4 Dead series. All right, I don't hate first person. But I don't want to see Resident Evil become first person. First person is a terrible way to go with Resident Evil. I don't think it's a good direction. It's really stupid and just, I hate it. I want to be able to see my character in Resident Evil. That's just how it is for me, you know? And all of those people out there are fucking stupid trying to say that Resident Evil 7 is returning to its roots. No, it's not! It's not returning to its roots. It's far from returning to its roots. It's not returning to its roots, alright? You people are dumb thinking it's going back to its roots. No, it's not. If it was going back to its roots, we'd have fixed camera angles, we'd have liquors, we'd have hunters, we'd have zombies, we'd have, you know, exploring the unknown, we wouldn't have garbage-ass first person, we wouldn't have hillbillies, and from what I hear, there's ghosts in this game. I haven't looked this up, but some people told me there's ghosts in this game, so that just gives me more reason not to buy this game. Who, who the fuck wants to fight ghosts in a Resident Evil game? Get the fuck out of here. This is Resident Evil. It's about mutations, zombies, bioweapons. It is not about ghosts. Get the fuck out of here, all right? It, you know, you look, if it isn't true, let me know. But I can already assume that Capcom, they would do something like that. They would put Ghost in there, you know? And it's like, Capcom, you guys are just killing more franchises. It's bad enough you already killed Dead Rising. I will make a Dead Rising 4 video, so you be on the lookout for that, because I got some shit to say about that game. But not only did you kill Dead Rising, but you're now killing Resident Evil. And it's fucking stupid, because those franchises are awesome, you know? Dead Rising and Resident Evil, awesome franchises, but now they're getting ruined. Fucking Resident Evil 7 is nothing. It doesn't resemble anything of Resident Evil. I don't like it because it's first person, and I hate that. And the gameplay looks boring. You walk around a house in first person, you don't even get to fight. I mean, I've seen gameplay with a gun, but still, it looks boring, you know? You just walk around, and it's just so fucking boring. At least with the old Resident Evils, you fought stuff. The old Resident Evils, despite exploring the unknown, and some places were quiet, and it was kind of slow, you still had action. You still, it was still exciting. The, and, there, and there's no music in this game. And that's a problem, you know? If you want to return to your roots, you need to also have music in there. Because what made the old Resident Evil games scarier was the soundtrack, alright? That's a lot. That's what goes into account with a lot of things that are horror-related is soundtrack. Maybe there's some stuff out there that can do horror good without a soundtrack, but I'm used to Resident Evil having a soundtrack. So I am. I don't like that RE7 to like have a soundtrack. Like I said... First person, I don't like it. It looks boring. I don't want to walk around. and I don't like how on this lantern, there was some gameplay. Lantern chick or whatever the fuck it was. 
running from the girls. Like, fuck that shit. I don't want to... See, here's what I hate about the game. So it seems like one of those first-person indie horror games, which it pretty much is. Copy and Outlast, copy and PT. That's what it basically is doing, where you don't get to fight back. You don't get to fight back worth the shit. You gotta run away from these guys. I don't want to run away from enemies. I want to fight back. I want to survive against the horror. That's what the old Resident Evils were about. There's a huge difference between the horror this game is and the old Resident Evil games is. And that's what you people need to realize. You're getting this mixed up. Resident Evil 7 is horror. Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica, 0... That is survival horror. There's a huge difference, all right? Just like Brett Hicks said, his, his RE7 rants were awesome. I watched them over and over. Dude speaks the truth, so I might mention a few things he did, but go check out his rants if you haven't. They're awesome. But anyways, there's a difference. Like he said, there's a difference. The old ones, you get to survive against the horror. You get to fight back against the horror. They give you a chance to survive against the horror, to experience the unknown, to travel in a mansion and experience zombies and mutations and hunters and lickers and stuff like this. Experience a zombie coming back up. Experiencing a crazy fucking bitch named Lisa Trevor. Shit like that is awesome. The locations you could go in, a mansion, under the mansion was like caves and then there's like a... A lab and shit like that. Just awesome stuff, you know? Reading documents and cool cool shit like that. Like Resident Evil 2, you got the police station and all that crazy stuff. You had some good locations. You had some crazy, awesome enemies in the old games. You don't have anything that resembles Resident Evil in this game. You don't. There's nothing that resembles Resident Evil number 7. There isn't. There's, there's nothing. No enemies. No nothing. You know? And like I said, there's a huge difference. You survive against the horror in the old Resident Evils. In the new Resident Evil 7, you don't survive against the horror. I mean, yeah, I saw combat. I've seen a little bit of combat. Alright? But what's to say that a lot of this game will be you running around? I haven't played the full game, so I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know what? The whole game is just going to be you running around like an asshole. No. But judging from what I've seen from demos, trailers... It seems like a lot of the game, you're just going to be running around and running away from enemies, alright? So, I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, the whole game. Um, I'm not going to make judgments on something I don't know about. But, as far as I'm concerned, I am not getting this game. You know, I do not like what Resident Evil 7 is. It's not Resident Evil. Nothing in this game is Resident Evil. There's nothing about it. The hillbillies are lame. And let me mention this. The villain, Jack Baker. Oh, his... His word is so cringy. What he says is so cringy. The welcome to the family, son, that is cringy. Every time I hear it, I cringe. It's so bad and just horrible. It's not even scary. It's just lame as fuck. And whenever people quote it, I even I cringe more than he says it. You know what I'm saying? The shit's lame. The villain's lame. He's just a stupid fucking hillbilly. So, and there's like one scene where you're sitting down at a table with the hillbilly and then his wife and some dude it's like is this texas chainsaw massacre what the fuck is this bullshit i like texas chainsaw massacre best movie in the series is number two from what i've seen but i don't want resident evil to become texas chainsaw massacre get the fuck out of here if you wanted to do hillbillies here's what you do you make a game like resident evil 4 and a character has to explore an abandoned city or somewhere and you have to fight hillbillies why not do that you want to bring hillbillies and Resident Evil? Fine. Here's what you do. You keep everything that's Resident Evil related, but as far as the regular enemies, have a RE4 type of game. Have it to where we fight hillbillies. I don't know. You know, you, you want to do some hillbillies? Do something like that and still keep like Resident Evil. There's so much shit you could have done with this game that could have made it way better. In my opinion, how would I would have had Resident Evil 7? I would have had it either like the old games in terms of gameplay or the new games. I'm st I still don't know which one I'd have, but what I would ha what I would definitely have is multiple campaigns. I would have Chris and Leon, not in the same order, but just all these characters. I'd, I'd have Chris, Leon, Sheva, Rebecca, Jill, you know, all the awesome characters in there. You know, and the villain I would have is Hunk. I would make Hunk the villain in Resident Evil 7. Jessica would be a side villain, but I would make the main villain in Resident Evil 7 Hunk. Because I feel like Hunk could be put to good use. Hunk could be a good villain if they use him. There's potential there for that character because he's barely in the story, you know. He's still alive. He has experience. He could do well in a fight against Leon and Chris. He might even be able to kick their ass. He's been around since Raccoon City. He's an experienced Umbrella Soldier. So... My opinion, that's what I would have done with Resident Evil 7. I would have put a bunch of the awesome characters in there. I would have had Billy and Rebecca return. You know, I'd put them in certain locations. I'd, I don't know which gameplay I'd have, either the old or the RE5 gameplay. I'm not sure what I would do. But as far as the story is concerned, I would put Hunk in there as a villain. 
it would take a long process of thinking, but that's really summing up some of the summing up some of the idea I would have for Resident Evil Seven and what I would prefer. And it just pisses me off because Resident Evil Six came out in 2012, and it's now 2017, and this is what Resident Evil Seven was. Because when I first, I'm not as mad as I was before. I'm more just disappointed and just sad about what the hell Resident Evil's become. But I was pissed when I saw the reveal for this game. I was like, what the fuck is this? What is this first person hillbilly bullshit? What is this? It pissed me off when I first saw it. That's why I made that angry rant. It pissed me off and it still pisses me off. But I'm not as angry as before. I'm more just depressed and sad about the fuck the game is. Because it's like, oh my god, what are you doing with the game? You know? I've waited so long for a new Resident Evil game, and the fact that this is what they brought to the table is pathetic. It's lame. And the game don't even look that good in terms of graphics. And it's pathetic, too. You know, it's like, ah, oh, this game's just annoying. You know, it copies PT, it copies Outlast, it copies first-person horror. That's what Capcom's want to do with this game, and it's a problem. And, you know, it's not to say Capcom hasn't copied before, because like Brett Hicks pointed out, Capcom changed Resident Evil, or Shinji Mikami changed Resident Evil to third person because it was popular at the time, but the difference is, it still resembled Resident Evil. You still had Leon in there. You st it still resembled Resident Evil. Now, it doesn't anymore. Now, with this Resident Evil 7, we're going to fight hillbillies. It's going to be first person. We're going to have, you know, scary shit come in your face like Brett Hicks said. We're not going to have none of that awesome shit from the old games where you explore the unknown, you explore a mansion, you explore the police station, you deal with awesome enemies, you have an awesome story with awesome villains like Wesker. It's just fucking disappointing what this game is, and I don't know what else to say. You know, let me know what you think of Resident Evil 7. I just don't care for this game. I'm not gonna buy it, and I hate everything about it. I don't like, you know, it just, it pisses me off. It's not what Resident Evil is, like, and and if you're one of those people out there that's going to tell me, yo, you should play the game. Shut the fuck up. I don't have to play the game. I make my opinion just like you make your opinion, all right? If I can dislike the game from what I've seen, then you can like the game from what you saw. Vice versa, all right? I am allowed to not like this game. I don't have to fucking play it. I'm tired of when people, when people point out shit about this game and they start talking about dislike for this game and they start complaining and stuff and t expressing their dislike... They get attacked on from these other fans who I don't think are real Resident Evil fans. Most of the people that are looking forward to Resident Evil 7 and getting it aren't real Resident Evil fans. And let me explain real quick. When I say real, I don't mean I'm a pedestal or I don't mean a certain amount of fans are real. I'm talking about just a real fan, a person who's played the games and liked them. All right. Most of the people looking forward to this game is people who never cared for Resident Evil. I bet you that. If I'm wrong, call me out. I only know, now let me say this, I only know a few people who are going to get this game that are Resident Evil fans. H Gaming, Next Gen Resident Evil, Crazy Pizza Man 21, um, a few other people, you know, and some more near gamers and stuff like that. So there is a handful of people who are Resident Evil fans getting this game, and, I don't, and I'm fine with it. But the handful, I can assume, the handful that will get this game or saying this game looks great is the first person horror guys who don't even care about Resident Evil. This game's not Resident Evil. There's nothing about this game that's Resident Evil. Fuck this game. What the fuck are you doing, Capcom? The first person is bullshit. Fuck the first person. Fuck the hillbilly bullshit. Give me the characters I like. This game just pisses me off. I don't even... Ugh, it's aggravating. It's not even Resident Evil. So that's why I don't like this game. Doesn't resemble Resident Evil. Nothing about this game is Resident Evil. The first person in Hillbillies is fucking stupid. I want it to be like Resident Evil. I want it to resemble Resident Evil. It's disappointing what this game is after waiting so many years for this shit. What the fuck are you doing, Capcom? Seriously. Let me know what you think of this game. I think it looks fucking retarded as shit. And also, one more thing before I end this video. Don't come to the comment section. Alright, do not come to the comment section. And again... The comments. Don't try to tell me that I need to play this game to give an opinion. Don't try to tell me that the game is returning to its roots, because it's not returning to its roots. If you think this game is returning to its roots, you never played Resident Evil before. Plain and simple.